Hey YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives and Lights with the U-Torch uh, UT02. This is a 26650 light, right? It's all controlled by that side switch. It's got a smooth reflector and it's got a high intensity emitter. This was sent to me on request by GearBest.com and they also provided me with a really nice discount code. So I'll include the link and the discount code in the text description box. They ship worldwide, right? Normal shipping takes about four weeks, but at these prices, it's usually worth it. You see it has five brightness levels. Here's the stats on this. Run times are very decent because of that big battery. 700 meters range, that's amazing. Two special modes, strobe and SOS. Now here it is on the driveway. And I just wanted to show this shot first because this shows pretty much the true color of this light. I got the neutral white. So yeah, that's kind of the true color. Uh, in some of the indoor shots, the camera tends to render it as warmer than it is. Now the basic operation of this light, it's all controlled by that side switch. If you long press, it will go to whatever brightness level it has memorized from last time and subsequent presses will cycle through the five brightness levels, as you see me doing there. If you long press, it will turn it off. Now, if you short press from off, as you see me doing there, short press from off brings you to the low mode. All right, and I've got a strobe coming up, so strobe warning. Double tap will bring you the strobe. Now from there, if you tap again, you get to what they call breathing mode, which is just uh, the indicator light will slowly fade in and out. And from there, if you press it again, you get to Morse code SOS flashing mode, lets you signal for help. Now everything that I explained there is also summarized in the instruction manual with this diagram that comes with the light. Now to replace the battery, you just unscrew that tail cap there. As I said, it takes a 26650 battery. I'm using a very high drain keep power IMR. You know, use at your own risk because it is an IMR battery. But tremendous capacity with a 26650. You can recharge your battery inside the light. Right, that's the indicator light. That will turn green when it's fully charged, but you just hook it up to any power source with a USB to micro USB cable. All right, more outside demonstration footage. Here it is on the front steps in the middle of the night. More than adequate for lighting your way. That little green fringe around there, that's just added by the camera. Okay, camera freaks out a little bit. Here it is at close range on the testing board, cycling through the five brightness levels. And we have a strobe coming up after that. Double tap brings you the strobe. So yeah, this is a pretty bright light. Look at it on the snow. Just shining it around at the batoned wood piles. Nice hot spot and nice flood. Here it is at the sports field. You see shining it at the, uh, the goal there. Now that goal is about 120 meters away because I'm not even standing on the field itself so it's crossing more than the field. Right, and you can see how far that is as I zoom back with the camcorder. I mean that's like, you know, that's light sniping range. So as I said, the, uh, the range on this is 700 meters because it has a high intensity emitter Right, so, yeah, I mean, you can clearly cross a field easily with this. Uh, this was some crazy footage. Uh, there was like an invasion of deer, and these deer are running all around, not because of the light, but uh, you'll see why. Let me just, <laughs> you'll see the head honcho in a second. Yeah, they're running all around. But there is the... Uh, the head honcho, you see the antlers? Yeah, those other deer, that's like that's like his harem, basically. It's a young deer, you know, the antlers. He's he's rubbing them against the vegetation. My neighbor hates these deer. They are her nemesis. 
But yeah. And they must really love flashlights because they keep coming around and they're like multiplying, you know, like the whole herd invaded. <laughs> yeah, that's some pretty cool footage. And it's funny because I saw like uh, <laughs> basically my neighbor's like kitchen light was on. Oh, and I'm, I'm in the second story window way back. Look how far back I am. If those were trespassers, you'd you'd see everything. But yeah, I wonder if my neighbor was uh was watching these deer. Probably not because she actually runs out and she uh she blows an air horn at them if she sees them. She doesn't like they're like eating her garden. But yeah, the range on this light very very good. And we are back. So final thoughts on this light. 1300 lumens is pretty bright, but the fact that it kicks it out to 700 meters is really why this light is awesome. And the fact it only needs one battery, you know, usually such long range lights, you're talking four batteries, but because it's a 26650, it has a huge uh, capacity too, a lot of endurance. Now this light is extremely similar to that Manker U21 you see on the right, which I've previously reviewed. The Manker has like a rubber coated switch that is somewhat recessed with an indicator light underneath it. Whereas on the U-Torch, the indicator light is in the center of the switch and there's no rubber coating on the switch and it sticks out a little bit. So honestly, you should get whichever one is less expensive at the time. Normal price for that Manker is about $65. Current price for the U-Torch is in the low 40s when it's on sale or with the discount code that they gave me. Now, in the future, that could be reversed. They could put the Manker on sale. So I'd recommend whichever is lower at the time. You know, as for the quality level, I can tell you it's basically exactly equal. The stats are equal the interface is pretty much the same i do like the recessed switch slightly more but again you want to go with whichever is lower in price at the time now if you saw my review of that manker you probably got a really good deal on it because that had a discount code at the time too so final final thoughts on this light uh, the range and brightness and endurance are awesome uh, I love the interface because the shortcuts are all right on. You know, a single click is shortcut to the low mode for reading. A long press is shortcut to whatever is memorized, which would probably be turbo. And double tap for the strobe. Yeah, the shortcuts are right on. And honestly, with the range on this, it's going to basically destroy, like, floodlights that are technically brighter, but... You know, sometimes you get a 3,000 lumen light, but once you go past like 40 or 50 meters, this is actually going to put a lot more light on a man-sized target, right? So out at longer range, this is going to destroy a lot of the super bright floodlights, right? This is more balanced light. So I will include links to both this and the Manker. Hope you enjoyed seeing this light. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Lights. I'm out.